Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to look at activity number eight. Okay, I'll read it in English and then Spanish and then Portuguese, and then we'll work on it together, or you can work at it at home um, on your own or with a family member. Ask an adult, to, oh, I'm right here on the second page. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Ask an adult to read a book to you or listen to a book from a website such as Storyline Online or Spanish Children's Stories and pretend you are an echo. As you read and listen, repeat the words you are hearing. Try to keep up with the reader. So you're going to read at the same time as the reader. Okay, an echo just makes the sound at the same time. Pide a un adulto que te lee un libro o escuchando a un libro de un sitio, sitio de internet como Storyline Online o Spanish Children's Stories y finge que eres en eco. Man, mientras lees y escuchas, repite las palabras que estás escuchando. En Intenta mantener el ritmo del lector. Okay. Y portugués. Está a un adulto para leer un libro para vos o escute a un libro de un website como Storyline Online o Español o Spanish Stories. Uh, Spanish ch children's stories. E feca, e fa, faca de conta que vos es un eco. E conta vos es le escucha, repita las palabras que vos es está oyendo, intente acompañar o narrador. Okay, so I'm going to show you a website, actually. GetEpic.com, and the class code is HJU9840. Es un sitio de web, internet. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you here. You can read along with me for a story, or you can go choose your own story to read. Okay, boys and girls, hopefully you can see my screen. So you're gonna go to the top right here and click login. Aquí, usando. Y los estudiantes aquí. Class code, enter class code. So you're gonna, oops, you're gonna click right here, and you're gonna type H J U nine eight four zero. Go, and then you will see you'll have all different books to choose from. Okay. You're going to click on your name, and then you can choose a story to read. Un minuto, lo siento. Okay. So I'm just going to pretend that I'm Bruna. So I'll click on Bruna. And now you can pick which story you want. It will read to you if you click this one. Okay. And then you have books to choose from.
Okay, so we'll just pick a story. And we'll read along with the story. Let's do this one. Harry, the dirty dog. It says, get started. Click the play button to start the read to me experience. Make sure your computer's volume is turned on. But right here we click play. Mary the Dirty Dog by Jane Fine. Okay, so we'll read along. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water in the running tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Oops. Ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street. Okay. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Bag with other dogs and became a dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. So make sure you guys are reading along. Things to do. Harry began to wonder if his family thought he felt hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family there's a strange door in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but Everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig up furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush. He carried it in his mouth and he ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like a magic. As soon as the children got started the scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry. It's Harry. It's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much and it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush hidden under his pillow. Almost done.
The end. And you can click finish the book or you can start the quiz. And you can ask questions. Okay. If you want to do, why did Harry run away? He didn't want to take a bath. He wanted to, to bury, bury his brush. What do you think? Okay, you can choose your answers. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you had fun reading along with me. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.